What's up, Hasfit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a total body beginner strength training workout. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells. And you may wanna have a few varieties of weights on hand so you can mix things up depending on the move. And while it's not required, you may wanna have a chair on hand. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for the modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get stronger together. All right, let's get started with the warm up. And the purpose of our warm up is to elevate our overall body temperatures, get our heart rate up, and at the same time, get a little added mobility work in. We're gonna start with the march in place plus a chest opener. Let's bring those elbows up at a 90 degree angle, hands in front of us. And then we're gonna open our arms up at the same time, bring up our right knee, return back down. Now bring up our left knee. Excellent, so we're opening those chest muscles up, opening those shoulder muscles up. At the same time, getting our heart rates up, making sure to breathe here. Depending on your fitness level and your balance, you may wanna bring up your thigh till it's parallel to the floor, or you may feel more comfortable with a lower march in place. You decide what's most appropriate to you, but this is the warm up, so we don't wanna blow all of our energy here. No, save some of it. We've got plenty of work on the way let's go 10 more seconds here this one's working your quads your hamstrings your glutes shoulders and chest and back for three two one zero all right shake them loose next up we're going for a it's called a pull the rope we're going to warm up our upper back here feet are shoulder width apart a little bend in our knees i want you to reach as far as you can with your right arm and grab onto an imaginary rope. Now pull that rope back from the elbow. Left arm now, reach and pull. Right to left, big, full extension. Feel that back muscle pulling away from your back, pulling away from the spine as you stretch, and then pull back from the elbow. Another great upper body compound warm up exercise for you here. Preparing that body for the work that is on the way. Making sure to breathe, do not hold your breath here. This one's working your lats, your biceps, your forearms, your shoulders, and even your legs just to maintain balance here. For three, two, one, zero. Next up, we're gonna move into an opposite side toe touch. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. Slight bend in our knees to start with those arms up in a Y formation. I'm gonna take my right arm, right hand, break at my hips, and I'm gonna reach down and touch my left toe. And I'm stopping at my left knee and coming right back up. Again, breaking at those hips, maintaining a slight bend in our knees as we drive our hips back, keep our upper back straight. And you decide if you wanna to touch your toes, if you wanna to touch your shin, if you wanna to touch your knees, whichever is appropriate for you. We're gonna kind of drive that home today that we encourage you to make this workout your own. Modifying as needed, no two bodies are alike and no one knows your body better than you do. Making sure to breathe here, warm up your hamstrings, calves, glutes, lower back and shoulders with this one. It's our last warm up move. Let's go last 10 seconds, getting that heart rate up for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna move into our first superset of the day. And the superset 
are just essentially two different exercises in this case that we're gonna go back and forth that are working complementary exercises. First one's gonna be a shoulder press. And as we said in the intro, we recommended having maybe a lighter and heavier weight. So I'm actually gonna grab my lighter weight for this one. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. Feet are shoulder width apart. Go ahead and bring those dumbbells up into a rack position. Dumbbells by your ears. Slight bend in your knee, good posture. We're gonna press straight up overhead, full range of motion, and then under control, return those dumbbells back down. We're gonna do this one for 10 repetitions together. Ready and begin. All the way up, all the way down. Under control here, not a race. And we wanna exhale as we push those dumbbells up overheads and inhale as we bring them back down to our ears. That's very good. We're gonna focus on our breathing throughout today's routine. We have three more reps. That's it, nice and under control, especially on the way down. Don't rush it. Last one and 10, very good. Okay, we are going to superset this one with an, a lower body move. We're gonna move into a dumbbell squat. You'll notice both Claudia and I, we're gonna pick up our heavier of our two weights. But again, that's totally up to you, what weights you have available, where your strength level is. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here. Dumbbells at our side, good posture. Anytime we squat, your first move is gonna to be to break at your hips. That means your hips go back, then you bend at your knees, keeping good posture, ideally coming down until your thighs are parallel to the floor, and then back up. We're gonna do this one for 10 repetitions in total. Ready? and begin. Trying your best on this one to maintain balance, driving through your midfoot so we're not falling back onto our heels and we're not falling forward onto our toes. Keeping proper balance here. Keep those shoulders back. Also don't allow yourself to just completely bend over on this one. And if you find that you're doing that a lot of times, it means that you have some flexibility issues in your posterior chain, your hamstrings, your glutes. Something's tight back there. That's, this is eight, so we got two more. Thank you. And there's nine. Breathe in on the way down, exhale on the way up. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, so that was one time through our superset. We're gonna do that one more time through from the top meaning we're moving back into the dumbbell shoulder press, picking a weight that's appropriate for you, a little more familiar after that first set, feet are shoulder width apart, dumbbells come up into rack position, and begin, 10 repetitions, all the way up, control the way down, that's it. And if you don't have an appropriate weight on this one, it's gonna show up really fast. You also wanna make sure that you're not using your legs to help you push those dumbbells over your head, so again, if you need to drop your weight, please do so. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. This one's working your complete shoulder as well as your triceps, even a little core here. Two more reps. Let's go, you got it, has for Tribe. There's nine and 10, very good. Oh, my shoulders are burning on that one. And that's, that's what we want. <laughs> we wanna be able to finish, but by reps eight, nine, and 10, you should feel some burning sensation as you push. Moving back to the dumbbell squat here, our second and final set. Feet your shoulder width apart. While our shoulders are resting, our legs are gonna work. First move is pushing those hips back, then breaking at the knees. Let's go, 10 repetitions and begin. Hips, then knees, good posture. Like you're sitting back into a chair. That's it, that's a great analogy to use, great way to think about it. And another little trick, if you're having trouble balancing on this one, a lot of times uh, for beginners, it's better to do this one without shoes on. Mm. So you may wanna slip your shoes off. I know my brother-in-law was recently staying with us and we were working on squats together. And his squats were night and day better as soon as he slipped his running shoes off. So just another little trick there. This is number eight, so you have two more reps after this one. That's it. Working those hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps, even your core and your grip. Last one and 10. Nice work. 
For our next superset, we're gonna go back and forth between a back exercise and a core exercise. We're starting with a dumbbell bent over row, and I'm gonna pick up my heavier of my two weights for this one. Again, we encourage you to pick up what works for you. Feet are shoulder width apart, a little bend in our knees. I'm gonna hinge at my hips until I'm on a 45 degree angle. Palms are facing inward. I'm gonna pull back from my elbows, all the way up, all the way down. We're doing this one for 10 repetitions in total. Ready and begin. Keep your back straight. You don't wanna slouch or have a rounded back. So that means you gotta keep those shoulders retracted on this one. Keep your head in line with your spine. Nice, straight, flat spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Very good. This one's gonna work your biceps, your forearms, your lats. Two more sets. Reps, pardon me. <laughs> and your upper back. Last one, one right more. here. And 10. Very good. Ooh. All right, for this next one, we can set our weights down. I'm gonna move to the floor for this one. And I'm actually gonna grab the chair for this one. We're gonna move into a high plank exercise. And again, like I said, I'm doing mine from the floor, so I'm gonna squat down, place both hands on the floor, and then step back. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Of course, I'm gonna have my palms on the chair, step back into a plank position where my shoulders are over my wrists. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. You want your back nice and straight. You decide which variation is right for you. The clock starts now. Making sure to breathe. Abs are pulled in. We don't want our butt high up in the air and we don't wanna slouch down either. Nice and straight here. Just a nice tight brace, thinking of just one straight line from the top of our head to our heels. Making sure to breathe. Anytime you're in this plank position, a lot of times people forget to breathe. We don't want that. That's it, starting to feel it. Just hold there. Making that core do the work. Get that abdominal section nice and tight. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent, all right. Come on up nice and slowly. Very good. Okay, so that's the first time through that superset. We're going to do it again, moving back into those dumbbell bent over rows. When you're picking up your dumbbells, make sure to squat and use your legs Ooh, when you do so. Thank you for the reminder. I know, it's... I felt like you said that just for me. Well, you know, <laughs> I didn't, but <laughs> coincidence, I suppose. Yeah, I know it's an easy thing to forget. We should have to be deliberate and conscious about it. All right, feet are shoulder width apart, little bend in those knees, back's 45 degree angle, locked in, 10 reps, let's go. Pull them back from those elbows. I want you to control the way down. Don't just boom, back down, but control that lowering phase. One of the hardest things for new strength trainers to get accustomed to is tempo. You just used to rushing through everything, but we want to control it. Two more reps. It's called time under tension. We're making those muscles work. Last one. And control. Very good. All right, we can set those hand weights down using. Oh! Uh, I caught her, everybody. <laughs> I caught her. Zoom using, in on her. No, using I'm just our teasing. Legs. I'm just teasing. But no, again, it's a, it's a. Uh, Easy bad habit to get into if you're Super not thinking bad about habit. it. So I'm not perfect when it comes to that either. <laughs> All right, so moving into that high plank, I'm gonna sit down, place my hands on the floor. I'm gonna step back. Abs are tight here, and we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Ready, begin. That's it, right there. Ooh, as ready as I'm gonna be with these. <laughs> this is a really good progression. Um, as you feel stronger and you feel like this one mm, doesn't have as much of a punch anymore, then you can either find a lower surface or just go down straight to the ground. And if that chair is too tough for you today, you can raise that as well. It could be a countertop or something a little higher. Yep, absolutely. There it is, we're almost there. More than halfway through, keep breathing. Core stays tight and engaged, back stays straight. Come on, fighting through. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here. Keep breathing. Four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, coming back up nice and slow yet again. All right, 
For our next superset, we have two more exercises. We're gonna go back and forth between a lower body and an upper body move. I'm gonna pick the heavier of my two dumbbells. And for this one, notice I'm keeping the chair out. I don't have any weights in my hands. You can use body weight, um, or you can, of course, grab one in your right hand if you'd like. We're gonna give you a bunch of tools for you to decide which is right, right for you today. All right, so we're either gonna do a reverse lunge or a chair supported split squat. So I'm gonna start with my dumbbells in either hand. I'm gonna step back with my right leg and I'm gonna drop both knees until they're at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm gonna step back too. And notice I'm just gonna drop my knee and I'm gonna come straight back up. So you decide which variation is most appropriate for you. You can also do my variation but without any weight. We're gonna do eight reps on each leg. Ready and begin. One, two, the goal on this one is to get down until both knees are at a 90 degree angle, keeping good posture so you're not leaning forward. Very good, that's it. We have three more reps. Last two, right here. Stay strong. And eight. All right, we're gonna do the same move, but on the opposite side now. So for me, that just means stepping back with my left foot now. Same with me, stepping back with my left foot, but staying in this split squat position. All right, eight more. Let's do it, Tribe. Both knees down to a 90, and then back up. And if you can't quite get to that 90, one, you probably should be doing the chair-supported version. So just trying your best and coming back, repeating this routine and getting a little bit stronger every time. This one's working your hamstrings, your quadriceps. Two reps. And, and your glutes. Last one right here. Very good, breathe in, breathe out. All right, we're gonna move into an upper body exercise next called a dumbbell reverse fly. And I'm gonna grab the lighter of my two weights. For sure. Coming back, feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna work your middle back, mid back with this one. That's your rhomboids, traps. Feet are shoulder width apart. I want you to pretend like you're hugging a tree here. Starting with that bend in your elbows. And we're gonna maintain that same bend throughout the move as we pull back, squeeze the move of our back, and return here. We're gonna do this one for 12 repetitions. Ooh. If it's your first time doing this one, I can't stress this enough, choose a light weight. Yes, good advice. Ready and begin. Nice and controlled on the way up and the way down. Not a race, not a rush here. Squeeze that middle of your back every time. Pretend like I'm there in the room with you and I just, oddly enough, put my finger right in the middle of your back and you're trying to squeeze my finger with your shoulder blades. That's number eight. Ooh, feeling it. <laughs> it's working, has Fit Tribe. Every repetition is getting you just that much stronger. Last rep right here. And 12, nice work. All right, so we're gonna move back into that reverse lunge or chair supported split squat. Again, I'm picking up my heavier weight. And again, I don't have any weight in my hand. And as you move through this, maybe you start with my move and then you move over to Claudia's or vice versa. Feel free to adjust on the fly. All right, here we go. I'm stepping back with my right leg. Claudia, go ahead and get your ready split squat position. Thank you. And eight repetitions begin. Good posture here. We're gonna do eight per leg. Control the way down and back up. That's it. Another one of those exercises that, wow, you just wanna rush through it because wouldn't it just be that much easier? But nope, we're not trying to make this as easy as possible. We're trying to get as much results as possible, as many results as possible. You have one more rep. There's number eight. Perfect. Right, so same move, gonna switch legs here. All right, in my split squat position. Are you there? I'm ready. All right, <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. That's it, again, we wanna optimize for results here, not optimize to make this as easy as possible. And that means under control. Feel those muscles working. Every repetition's getting you just that much closer to your goals. That's it. Breathe in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Okay, we have one more rep. That's it, come on, last one. 
Boom, there it is. Again, moving into that reverse fly, using my legs, squatting down to pick up my weight. Again, as you learned with that last one, this is a tough move. Very tough. So go light until you get the hang of it. 12 more reverse flies here. Feet your shoulders apart, a little bend the knees, weight in the hips, 45 degree hinge, elbows are bent, and you're ready. Let's go 12, begin. Very good. Don't cling the, clink the dumbbells together when they come down either. Control it. Squeeze the middle of that back. Whoo, it's working. This one's working your rear deltoids, your rhomboids, and your traps. All working together to make this one happen. Three more reps. That's it, last three. You can do it. You got it. Last one, finish strong right here, tribe. And there's 12, nice work. For our final superset of the day, we're gonna focus on our arms because who among us doesn't want a nice set of arms? Look at those cannons. I mean, come on. Jeez, she's putting me to shame. I need to get some <laughs> sleeves on my shirt. All right, we're gonna start with our lighter of our two weights and gonna perform a dumbbell Zotman curl. And you decide which weight is appropriate for you. We have 12 repetitions in total. We have good posture here. Shoulders are back. The Zotman curl starts with our palms up, curl all the way up. And when we get to the top, we're going to rotate at our wrists and control on the way down. Wrist stay nice and straight, locked in. Mm -hmm. 12 repetitions in total. Let's do it, folks, and begin. Again, you're probably sick of hearing me say this, but not by now, but we are gonna do this one under control. That's it right there, one into the next. And if you can't do it under control, you need to adjust your weight. This one's gonna work both bicep heads. That's the beauty of that wrist turn up at the top as well as your forearms and your grip. Try your best to eliminate any momentum on this one so we're not swinging it. your arms. Keeping those shoulders back. Control on the way up and the way down. Very good. One right into the next. By the time we get to that rep eight, nine, 10. No, it is eight. <laughs> we start to feel it. There's nine. And that's how you really know that you've chosen the right way. As Brown, Rep eight, nine, that's when it should start to get heavy. We have two more. That's it, come on, last two, Tribe, you got it. Keeping those elbows nice and close to the body. That's a good tip. Last one, come on. And 12. All right, the arms aren't getting any rest here. The biceps are, though. We're gonna focus on the muscle in the back of our arm. That's our triceps next. We're gonna do a pronate tricep kickback and start with our feet shoulder width apart. Gonna bring our elbows up until that upper arm is parallel to the floor. Now we're gonna extend from that elbow, squeeze the back of our arms, and return. We're doing this one for 12 repetitions. Ready, and begin. Palms are forward, and hit it. There's one, two. On this one, try your best again. Keep that upper arm parallel to the floor so you're not moving from the elbow and swinging. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? But instead, we are gonna force those triceps to work. Trying our best to only extend from that elbow. This is number nine. Last three, come on. 10, 11, 12, excellent work. Okay. You no, know you don't have the right weights if, I mean, it's gonna pop up real soon on those tricep kickbacks, <laughs> like rep number two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, one more time through this superset. <sighs> Giving those arms Shake about those five, arms 10 out. seconds here. Not much of a break, no just break. enough. All right, right back into those Zotma curls. Let's go for 12, begin, palms are up. Twist, control the way down. That's Elbows it. in. We're so proud of you for making it this far to the workout, through the workout. Come back, repeat this, get a little bit better every time. Gonna get a little bit stronger every time. Increasing your weight and resistance as you get stronger. That's what's gonna force your body to continue to adapt, to continue to change, to continue to improve. That's it. Almost there, come on, fighting to the end, everyone. This is number eight. That's it, all the way. You started this workout, you're gonna finish it right here. Come on, 
We're right there with you, tribe. Rep by rep. Two more. That's it, last two. Thank you, Claudia. Here we go, last one. You got it, you got it, you got it. And boom, there it is, number 12. Oh my goodness, shake it out. All right. Next set of tricep kickbacks. You got, a, you got this, Claudia? I think I do. Okay, I was you got this for, at home out there? Waiting for a pep talk. All right. Whew. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I can do for a pep talk. Here we go. Elbows are up in ready and locked position. 12 repetitions. Let's start that tricep kickback. Begin under control right here, right now. Come on. Work an hour easy. Everybody be fit, but you know that's not the case. That's what makes you so special for showing up today and putting in that work. Number eight right here. Oh, come on, you got it. Almost there, almost there. Two more. 11 and 12. <sighs> Ooh, that's it, nice work. And that is it, you nice made job. it. Nice work, Claudia. Nice work to you out there, tribe. Whew. Time for the cool down, we're gonna work on lowering our heart rates and at the same time get a little added flexibility mobility work in. We're gonna start on the floor. So let's come on down. Sit down on your backside with your straight legs out in front of you. We're gonna perform a seated toe touch to scarecrow. Really gonna hit that whole posterior chain. That's your whole backside of your body. So let's start with the big swim. Arms come up. We're gonna reach for those toes. Now you might be able to reach your toes or you might be at your knees, your shins. Wherever you're at, I want you to reach as far as you can, and we're just gonna hold here for three, two, one. Now with straight arms, sit up big and tall, good posture. Pull down from those elbows. Feel that stretch in your back and shoulders. Excellent, okay, one more, up and over every time. There we go. Swim. Up and over, big swim. Reach and hold. Trying your best to glue the back of those knees to the floor. And straight arms to sit up. Good posture. And pull down from the elbows like there's a string attached to them. Okay, one more time, last one. Arms up and over. Big reach, hopefully a little better reach than that first one. And hold here for three, two, one. Straight arms up, good posture again. Sitting up big and tall and pull down from those elbows. Oh, that felt so good. It really does. Okay, moving into a side lying quad stretch. We're gonna lie back and onto our right side. And so we're gonna focus on stretching that left quadricep. So I'm gonna reach back and pull my ankle. You can also pull your foot. If you can't quite reach it, grab a band or a towel, something to help you hook onto it. Keep that knee in tight to your body. Don't want it flaring out. And we're just gonna hold here. This is a static stretch. We do static stretches. We wanna feel a good stretch, but we don't wanna feel pain. Find that happy place. Big deep breaths for three, two, one, zero. That's it right there. All right, let's roll over onto our other side. Of course, we gotta keep things even around here, right? So same move, opposite leg. Again, pulling back, keeping that knee in tight to the body. And we're just gonna hold here. That's it. Our quadriceps are that big thigh muscle in front. Got a lot of work in today. So it's important that we focus on that restoration part of the workout. I know it can be popular to skip the cool down or skip the stretching, but unfortunately in my experience, it tends to catch up with you. <laughs> Especially the older you get. Yeah, that's true too. And three, two, one, zero. The more mobile we are, the less likely we are to get injured. And the more mobile we are, the faster we recover. All right, let's come up to our feet. One last stretch for you here. We're gonna do a hands behind the head chest stretch. So let's go ahead and take those fingers, bring them up behind the head. And we're gonna pull back from our elbows. Good posture <sighs> here. Again, just a static stretch pretending like somebody's behind you and they're just pulling those elbows back. You're gonna feel this one in your chest, in your shoulders, your upper back. And we're just gonna hold. It's a great time to just take a moment to be proud of yourself for what you've achieved so far today. You had a million things you had to do on your to-do list today. 
and it would have been so easy to skip today's workout, but you didn't. You showed up, you hit that play button, and here you are at the finish. Take a moment to let that feel good and be proud of yourself. And you know what? You're gonna come back and you're gonna do it again because this is part of a healthy lifestyle, not just a fad, not just something you're doing part-time, but this is the new you. Big deep breaths for three, two, one, zero, and that's it. Shake it loose, you made it. Oh, we're done. Excellent nice work. work. Thank you so much for working out with us today. I don't mean to speak in hyperbole, but this is very honest. We could not do this without you. So thank you for coming and joining us today. Did you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete exercise program? That's right. You can find those on our HasFit app. You can download it on your Android or iPhone, or you could also visit HasFit.com. You can also stop by our store, pick up some HasFit gear like a shirt or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Also, please don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channels. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.